is Evangelist Mary L. McCracken. And I tell you, I tell you, I'm so thankful today just for an opportunity to be with you. I count it a privilege to be with you today. You are listening to the Holy Ghost Takeover Outreach Ministry. And we would like to tell you to come and join us every day if you like via the internet. Join us at www.holyghosttoday.com. Before we go into the broadcast, it is always my custom to pray because without God, I can't do nothing. But with God, all things are possible. Let's say our prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you just for another day. We thank you for sparing our lives. We thank you for your many blessings and benefits. And God, I ask that you look on others today. Look on my friends in radio television, or wherever this broadcast will be seen or heard. God, I want you to touch them. I want you to solve their situations. I want you to encourage them. God, as usual, I always want you to hide me behind the cross and cover me in your blood. This broadcast is just to lift you up. And as my custom is, let the Holy Ghost do it, because only he can speak a word, a word of encouragement, a word of life to his people. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, and amen. The title of the message is, Run and Don't Be Weary. This is a story about Sarah and Abraham. And from this story, I concluded that God does not want us to give up on his promises. Let's go to Genesis, the 15th chapter, beginning at the first through the sixth verse. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, what would thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is this Eleazar of Damascus. And Abram said, Behold, to me thou have given no seed. And lo, one born in my house is man heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven, and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thou seed be. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. And you know, Sarah tried to help God and Abraham out. Sarah, in Genesis 16, verse 1 through 3, devised the scheme. Sarah decided, since the Lord had left her childless, that she would give her Egyptian handmaid, Hagar, to Abraham for a wife. And she did just that. Then Sarah regretted it because when Hagar found out that she was with child, she began to despise Sarah in her own eyes, and she tried to flee from Sarah, but that return and be subject to her mistress. You know, saints, we get in a lot of trouble when we try to help God out because he never needs our help. He's too wise for that. Going to Genesis 17 chapter, verses 1 through 7. When Abram was 99 years old, God began to deal with him again. He said, I am the Lord Almighty God. I want you to walk before me and be thou perfect. Abram fell on the ground, and the Lord talked to him and told him that he was going to make a covenant with him, and not only with him, with his children, and also with their generations, and he was going to be their God. 